Here we will write a program to explain working of thread pool. For this we will define two methods. So, first method will be public static void method 1 with object and inside the method we will print the message using for loop. So, for int i equal to 0 i less than 5 and i plus plus we will print the message inside method 1. Then we will define another method, method 2 with object and here also inside for loop we will print the message. So, for int i equal to 0, i less than or equal to 5 and i plus plus we will print inside method 2. Since we have defined the method as public, to execute these methods, we have to create object of our class. So, program p equal to new program. Then we will create thread pool using for loop. So, for int i equal to 0, i less than 2 and i plus plus. Here we will use thread pool dot q user work item new wait callback for our method 1 and again thread pool dot q user work item new wait callback for method 2 and then we will execute this it will print method 2 inside method 2 inside method 1 again method 2 and method 1 here two separate methods method 1 and method 2 are defined that simply display messages on the console. A thread pool class start these two methods without setting the properties. Here these two threads are executed using q user work item method from the thread pool class instead of creating object of our thread class.